What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Zapekist. We are back with more track builds, but today I let ChatGPT design my track for me. And boy, do I have regrets. Now, before we get into the regrets aspect of this whole thing, which might actually become self-evident once I'm done explaining the track, I'm actually going to read out the ChatGPT instructions that were generated for me by one of our subscribers. Khan got the same set of instructions and Khan also built a track based on them. So definitely go and check it out after this video if you haven't already. But let me start reading the instructions for you guys. There's a total of 11 steps and I'm going to go through each one and you guys will see how exactly I executed it. Step number one, start finish line. The race begins on a wide straight stretch, providing a perfect opportunity for racers to gain speed before the first corner. I think I did a pretty good job at that. Step number two, ocean chicane. Just after the start line, the track takes a sharp left turn, leading into a series of rapid S-bends known as the ocean chicane. The racers will have to navigate these tight curves while maintaining control and avoiding collisions. Step number three, the dune leap. After exiting the ocean chicane, racers encounter a massive jump known as the dune leap. This thrilling feature sends the soapbox vehicle soaring through the air, adding an element of excitement and risk to the race. I think there's definitely some risk involved in this one right here. <laughs> Step number four, sandstorm corner. Following the dune leap, the track leads into sandstorm corner, a high speed bend with challenging camber. Racers will need to employ precise steering and control to navigate this corner without losing speed. As you guys can see, I've got some fans here blowing up, which, uh, well, it, I mean, unfortunately we don't have sand particles, but it's it's supposed to be a sand tornado, okay? Just, just use your imagination a little bit. <laughs> Step number five, tunnel run. As the racers approach the middle section of the track, they enter a tunnel caved through the dunes. The tunnel is narrow, requiring racers to carefully maneuver through it while avoiding collisions. Let me just speed my spectator camera through this. Perfect. Step number six, dizzying corkscrew. Exiting the tunnel, racers face the most extreme part of the track, the dizzying corkscrew. This section comprises a series of tight hairpin turns, both uphill and downhill, challenging the racer's agility and nerve. The elevation changes and rapid succession of corners create a visually stunning and exhilarating experience. Let's take a look at it from, uh, from kind of afar here. And on to step number seven, Thunderbolt Straight. After surviving the dizzying corkscrew, racers are rewarded with a long straight stretch known as the Thunderbolt Straight. This section allows them to build up speed and strategize for the final challenges ahead. So as you guys can see, I made it kind of look like a Thunderbolt, you know, it's all zigzaggy, but there's still a straight line through it with minimal corrections required. So I think it's quite fitting. Step number eight, Coastal Bend. The Thunderbolt Straight ends with a sharp right turn known as the Coastal Bend. This corner hugs the coastline, providing stunning views of the ocean as racers navigate the challenging bend. It's definitely a high speed bend and it's definitely quite challenging. It's very easy to uh, to just kind of eat it off this, uh, off this corner right here. Step number nine, beach jump. Just after the coastal bend, the track takes the racers onto the sandy beach for a thrilling jump. The beach jump launches the soapbox vehicles high into the air before landing back on the track, testing the racers courage and control. Step number 10, the final sprint. The last section of the track features a series of tight turns and chicanes requiring racers to showcase their skill and precision. The track narrows slightly in this section, adding an extra layer of challenge and intensity. And of course, step number 11, the final step, the finish line. The race concludes with a dramatic dash to the finish line where the victor is crowned the ultimate soapbox racing champion. Now, of course, there's a bit of an outro to the uh, to the instructions as well. The Zapkist Vort Extreme Circuit aims to provide a thrilling and unforgettable racing experience with its combination of high-speed straights, challenging corners, jaw-dropping jumps, and scenic views. Get ready for an adrenaline rush like no other. <laughs> well, I certainly hope the public lobby is uh, ready for a two and a half minute long track. And that is honestly one of my regrets, guys. If you already haven't figured it out, this is an extreme long track and it's very easy to mess up on and basically just you know have to start over it took me quite some time to build I also because Chad GPT generated this as a circuit uh, based on the prompt that our subscriber put in I wanted it to loop around back to the start which I think did make it a little bit more challenging and definitely longer and did I mention this took forever to build <laughs> I did really enjoy decorating it. I'm not gonna lie, 
I did enjoy the decorating part. I'm quite happy with it. But I think uh, without further ado, I'm going to do a quick test run here for you guys, show you what the track is all about, and I will hop into a public lobby and see what everybody else thinks. Let's do it. Now, as you guys can see, I've got some spectators in the stands there. I've got some F1 cars just hanging out, waiting for the race to start. The first turn can be a little bit tricky if you overshoot it, but I did a decent job. The S-Bands also can be treacherous, so if I lose some speed here, I'm not going to be too upset because I'm just trying to show you guys the track, you know, do a bit of a sight run here into the dune jump where I do have to go arms up ever so slightly so that I don't undershoot the jump, but also make sure I don't go too high so that I don't overshoot it. Perfect. Uh, that was okay. That wasn't perfect, but it was okay. Into my favorite section, the sandstorm corner, where you have to steer precisely without losing traction, keeping your speed up, and not falling into the crevice where you'll bonk your head and, uh, and die. <laughs> into the caves now, and because there's so much speed, you actually have to wall ride this corner right here, and then snake through the rest of the cave, which is uh, relatively easy in comparison. Now into the Dizzy and Corkscrews, and hopefully I don't go off here, because we are going quite fast up this hill, and you do have to wall ride if you want to keep your speed up. Same with going down, you have to uh, catch the wall ride and gain as much speed as you can back into the rest of the track. So let's do that. It's definitely dizzying. <laughs> oh no, lost some speed there, but that's okay. I typically have more speed going through this, which does make that corner a lot more difficult. And into the Thunderbolt straight now, as you can see, it's pretty straight. Don't really have to steer that much, but it is a zigzag. I got 217 speed coming out of that. I have to carry it into this corner and now into the second giant jump, which is just, it's crazy. You got to go full arms up here if you want to make it. And if you don't, well, you're probably just gonna smoke the landing. <laughs> there we go. Typically, I catch that landing better, but that's okay. Gotta carry my speed through the corner here as well. And we're into the final stretch, which is very technical. It's, uh, it does require a lot of tapping on the keyboard, and hopefully I make it. It's, uh, it's, it's tough. It's tough, all right. Oh no, oh man, I almost didn't make it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, hey, ChatGPT made me do this, okay? I didn't want to do it. ChatGPT made me do it. Oh no, 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 no. That's okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. It's fine, it's fine. We're still alive, we're still good. <laughs> but as you guys can see, we're coming up on the two and a half minute mark here into the finish. I think my best time is like a 229, but without further ado, let's go see what everybody else thinks. Alrighty, boys, are you ready? I'm mentally prepared. Nobody, nobody have... sounds ready. This is already very <laughs> concerning, okay? I'm clenching, I'm clenching my anus right now as we speak. I've heard things. That's, <laughs> that's great, Khan. I'm glad that that's going to be in my video now. But you guys must have seen Khan's uh, Chad GPT track. And, oh, uh, right. You and oh. this is mine. Yeah, this is, yeah, uh, no, this is my rendition of it, which gets 50 exciting. frames in, uh, in multiplayer, which is fantastic. Man, that's like bro, I get 50 more than Khan's track. <laughs> 50 more than Khan's track. Um, unfortunately, ChatGPT forced me to make this extremely long, and I hated every step of the way. I actually enjoyed the decoration part, but I hated uh, the building aspect of it because cards. they look really good. I literally felt like a slave to ChatGPT because I, I just, you know, I had to follow the instructions, and there were a lot of instructions. So, I hope yeah, you guys enjoy the super long... Yeah, and... these F1 cars, though, who made them? They're really, uh, I they're think really they're good. probably made by Ace, just like everything else in the Blueprint Manager, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah they're really, really nice looking... Really nice looking cars. They are. They're Sand really tubes. neat. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. Sand tubes. <laughs> Sand tubes. Scary. <laughs> The sand uh. tubes are supposed to be like the stormy corner or something along those lines, and it's, uh, it's, yeah. It's stormy, all right. I can't wait to see this prompt. <laughs> yep, it's, uh, right. I'm gonna read it out. It's gonna take me like half an hour to read it out, probably, but... Yeah, it was, it was pretty long. It was, I remember, <laughs> I did another track since then where I generated my own prompt, and I told JatGPD to just, like, make a very short prompt, and it was much better. Uh, this, the prompt the prompt that we got from the it was like 13 was like, steps or something yeah, ridiculous and, and they were like, like that. very long detailed steps that's they right were like, yeah you know oh you really want of... all of that fan okay this track is like two and a half minutes i'm just giving you guys a heads up oh man you got a big dune jump too so yeah, well so i had like... to it was the same prompt dude <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh... 
I might get a finish here on the first go. It's not going to be a good time, but it might be alright. I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. I wonder how Goldenfire knows this is my chat GPT track. Probably because of the long nonsense. Well, you named it the same thing, though. I did. True. Uh, no, slightly different. Wasn't it Zapefarkist? Wasn't that the name that I had to put on it, too? Yours had the same words, but in a different... <laughs> in a different arrangement, I think. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay, and off to the finish with a terrible time. Noise. Could be better. Could be five seconds better, that's for sure. Gonna go again. Then I might spectate some people. Oh, God. I, I'm not making your dune jump without... Uh... Yeah, I had to fully arms up. I'm not making it even with fully arms up. You only oh. have to... Sorry, you only have to. You have to be going like 138 coming out of that... Uh, the like the S-band section. That's the speed basically you gotta aim for. Or at least that's the speed that I aim for and I managed to get it, so... The big, like the second dune jump on the on the beach, because there's a big beach jump as well. That one you gotta basically hold arms up for the whole time, or you're not making it. What the heck is this corner? <laughs> Which corner? The sand pipes? Yeah, oh man, that's the storm God. corner, you know. And the instruction says something along the lines of like, you know, having to precisely nav navigate and keep your speed up. So, you know, it's. That's I would what have I did. called it. That looks more like the cinnamon roll corner. Where it's like, you know, like the, <laughs> the, the cinnamon the rolls. rolls. I'm hungry roll. now. Dang it! Dang I was already con. hungry when we started. And <laughs> it's just getting worse. Fair enough. Okay. I had Up people talking about food. I know. I couldn't eat, so I had a medical procedure, and I couldn't eat for 24 hours, and, like, my fiancé felt terrible eating around me, and every time I saw a photo of food, I was like, oh, God, no, not again. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Gotta drink lots of juice with natural fruit in it. Oh, yeah. And then is, you won't be hungry. Is that what you've been doing? Sorry. No, I'm just saying that's, that's how I... Oh, but how do you know I'm if you wolf. haven't tested it? Oh, because I used to, when I was a kid, I used to go to church stuff. Uh-huh. And, and one thing we did for church stuff, because, you know, it makes sense. I don't even remember why, but every year we did this 24-hour fasting That's thing right, for yep. whatever. Oof, I don't know what the close. it was for. Right. And so they were like, during that fasting, oh, they no. would like give us lots of natural fruit juice so that we wouldn't, you know, die. Pass out in the middle of church. Yeah, basically. Very good. But it's not like it has to be the natural. It like, can't be from concentrate. It's got to be like real fruit. You know, that's the that's the point. See, Catholic Church is so easy because you guys get to sit, right? Orthodox well, Church, not, we don't get I'm to not sit. Really, we got to stand. Yeah, I'm not really religious anymore. Well, so. neither am I. But like as a kid, I also went to church, yeah, yeah. and we had to stand all the time. Yeah, and I mean, it, we had to stand sometimes. Well, sometimes, but like, yeah. You know, but you guys get on all these, the you know, benches and stuff. You think we yeah, have benches? Yeah, I remember every no. year we used to do this like 24-hour fast. I don't know why. I just, I can't remember what it's for. I mean, if anything, it's good for your health, too. You know, clear your gut out. Yeah, true. All right, now I got my AT. Now I'm going to spectate somebody. Who should I spectate? I, I need a wall ride. This Let's cave. watch Sandals. I have 15 the frames. Profession. That is unfortunate. I have 60. It's actually, it's not... Well, you guys have worse. good CPUs, okay? I have like 40 to 50. Sandals is going into the cave. Sandals, let's see if Sandals does the wall. Sandals did not do the wall yeah. ride. Oh, no, Sandals. I thought you were a pro. Nah, he's too busy making YouTube videos. Actually, this is a good time to plug Sandal's ChatGPT video where he actually got ChatGPT to generate a Zapkiss track file. Like, he taught ChatGPT to make a track. And yeah, it made the coordinate system. That's exactly. Oh, so definitely go and check that out. I'll have that Spoilers, in the link below. Spoiler alert. Um, it's very tough to convince oh, AI yeah. to design, <laughs> design something proper. For sure. Right. Hence why we don't do it that way, Let's and we instead Maki? do Let's it Let's watch with Maki. Oh gosh, no, I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to click on Maki's name. Dang it. Okay, I'll just have to scroll like the old times. There we go. Only three people set a time. Dude, I keep dying on the, the sausage corner. <laughs> the sausage corner. <laughs> sausage corner. Well, you have to take to the, the middle snossage, and you just have to... Yeah, no, to... I, I, figured, I figured that much out, but if you go too far right, you're dead. You yep. slide in, you're dead. Yep. If you go too far left, you slide out, you're dead. Yep. So it's like, you gotta be right on the perfect line. <laughs> exactly. Just don't be dead. Just don't get deaded. Through the sausage corner, so it's like... 
He excellent. All right. Mock. Wait, nobody's taking the wall ride inside the inside the cave. So odd. Yeah, I'm. I need to. I, I was going too fast last time and I died. So. Right. Yeah. I guess these guys aren't going fast enough. Man, I thought these guys were pros. What is this? All right. Let's I'm watch sneezing. Ronan. I'm trying. I'm going to fail the beach jump again. I just feel it. Just okay. You got to be going like 180 into it at the least. And then just arms up, my dude. Just arms up like you just don't care, you know? I also do the wall right there because, yeah, because because that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'll add it to the notes. <laughs> it's like, I could set a better time, but I'm currently first, so, you know, I think I'll just chill. I don't remember how many finishers my track had, but I feel like it was more. Probably. Seems this is a harder. long track. I think your track was, what, two minutes long? How long was it? Yeah, two minutes, I yeah. think. Yeah, well, yeah. Unfortunately, mine is a little bit longer. I also loop mine back around to the, uh, like, to the start, so... Technically, it's a circuit. I don't know because the you know the prompt asked for a circuit. So oh, don't do that, Ronan. Oh no, I wasn't going <laughs> as fast last time, so I can make it. <laughs> All right, let's watch. Let's watch Khan. No, don't do that. Okay, I'm not watching Khan. Totally not <laughs> watching Khan right now. Go through the slalom watch. section. Oh, Zoman's creeping up to my time. I'm a little. I'm a little worried here. Oh no, Khan, what is you doing, baby? Yeah, I bounced. That was a bad bounce. I'm way too slow for this nonsense. I'll way too slow. Arm. Pull arms up, maybe. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go again, just to, you know, just to make sure that I can't get a better time, and then... And then, yeah, and then hopefully I stay on the podium, at least. I haven't even seen the second half of the track yet. Go to photo mode. Th th thanks. <laughs> I think the combination of YouTube shots and one minute long tracks has ruined my brain. True. I can't focus. <laughs> Fair enough. Just track ADHD. Kind of. All right. I do feel like one minute is almost the sweet spot. For I tracks. agree. No, I agree. I did not want this to be as long as it is, but hey, Chad GPT was like, kuch, kuch, make this track. Kuch. And I was like, all right, all right, all right. I think, I think one minute long tracks are really that perfect, like, perfect like mm -hmm. definitely oh they're no short, i suck at my not... own track and i have wow i have just enough time to finish it once more i think most people agree that like the sweet spot is 45 seconds to like one minute yeah that's like yeah. the sweet spot the other problem with long tracks is like say you know say you screw up now well you're literally just sitting here for two minutes you know twiddling yeah, your thumbs out, and, already and yeah yeah not long enough. Well, you know what? <laughs> like, 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 say you do what I did and screw up. Now you're just basically GG. Pretty much. Pretty much. Let's see if I can join Parking Gang here. Yep. GG uh, for there's, me too. there's fans, so I, I don't know. Might be hard. Yeah, I'm gonna try and jam myself behind that. Uh, do that it. One car. Jam it harder. See, I was gonna set it to 15 minutes as well, but I feel like at that point the video is just getting too long, so you guys just have to get good in the amount of time that I gave you. Yeah, no, I, I, I didn't have, I was not good. I am on a green time. I'm on a green time right now. But, oh, really? you know, there's like still the room there? for error. There's some really sharp turns towards the end. Oh god. Yeah, th yeah, that was part of the Oh no, I messed up. That was part of the prompt too. It said, you know, the last uh, you know, the last section had to be uh very very technical. It had to challenge the players. So, I don't know, man. Like I said, I hated building it. So, I'm not surprised if you guys hate playing it. I I, I fully expect that. <laughs> the best part was decorating it because I was like, "Yay, I get to make things pretty." But other than that, I I was just like, "This is this is a miserable existence right now." <laughs> It's like it's completely gone against every Zapekiss building strategy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because AI has no clue what it's doing, okay? <laughs> Alright, sick. Parking gang Are you behind parking the gang? Yeah, perfect. Alright. Let's go. I want a, I want a yellow time, but I'm going to finish here. Well, you just got beat. Oh dang, Zoman. That's okay. That's all right. I actually, I could have beaten that time or I guess gotten close to that time. I, I was looking at the leaderboard. Gosh darn it. 
Did what? Ronan? I just got disconnected. Wait. I just got disconnected. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, in any I was case, like, are you rage quitting, bro? Or yeah, right. I thought Ronan rage quit. Like, screw this. I, I closed my stream for this. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this track. Uh, go and check out the ChatGPT track that Khan built, the ChatGPT track that Sandals built. Go and check out Ronan on Twitch. He streams daily, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.